Greetings, unsettled souls! You are an idiot. You know what that means. It means that we got the dumb of the day. That's what it means. Uh, the massive Fukushima update uh, coming to a close here. The last out of five parts. Um, uh, this is the dumb of the day for a good reason. This pristine beach, the Seattle Times says, is one of Japan's last. Soon it will be filled with concrete. <laughs> Idiots, good! Why? Is it a parking lot? No. No. Let me give you a little bit of a history lesson. Japan? Japan was created by an earthquake. The plates ultimately moved in such a way that Japan sprouted from the sea. Now, I hate to be the one to let you in on this fact. I've mentioned it on other shows. I hope it doesn't surprise anybody, but... uh. Do you know how Japan is going to be wiped off the map? An earthquake. You guessed it. Way to go. You're smart. Now again, an exception could be a meteor takes it out when it takes out the rest of the world. I guess that's a possibility in some reality. Uh, the second coming could happen, and maybe it'll just stay right where it is. Otherwise, history has shown us that the country that we now call Japan is going to the bottom of the ocean. Prior to that happening, however, they're going to be hit with a number of tidal waves. We know this from history, particularly the Fukushima disaster, which I'm sure is what made you tune in and hit share and hit subscribe. Thank you. Um, this needs to be built. The beautiful scenery. It saves lives. Okay, I'm going to swear here. Fuck the scenery. How about that? I don't normally swear on this show, but I'm going to do it one more time. Fuck the scenery. Let's try to save some human life. How about that? What about in a million years? You know what? In a million years, the entire island is probably going to be at the bottom of the ocean. Although, if not, if not, if an earthquake doesn't take it out, do you know how many lives are going to be saved by the retaining wall which didn't allow the tidal wave to wash over the people, you stupid bastard? Oh! It doesn't ruin by the trees. It wasn't how God created it. Well, you know what? It might be good if man makes sure that the tidal waves don't wash him away. Maybe that's more important than the tree! Standing on its mountain-fringed beach, there is no hint that the Japanese village of Kutoku even exists. Its handful of houses hide behind a dune covered with morning glories and panudus trees. The chitter of cicadas interrupted only by the cadence of waves and the call of an azure-winged jay. Well, you know what? The azure-winged jay does not prevent a tidal wave, but a cement wall does, you stupid ass! In July, the beach became part of a new UNESCO World Heritage Site, a preserve of verdant peaks and mangrove forests that could very easily be washed under a tidal wave if now wall doesn't protect them. In the southwestern Japan, that is home to almost a dozen endangered species. Do you know what'll make them more endangered than a cement wall? A tidal wave that washes them to their death. That is more likely to kill them. Yes, you're right. You're really smart. You figured that out too, didn't you? Two months later, the placid air was split by a new sound. Good. The blessed, I would say, rumble of trucks and evacuators preparing to strip away, thank God, a large section of the Kotoko's dune and bury inside a two-story wall of concrete meant to curb erosion. That is all so good. Look, good. That is good. Okay, that is good. I am so tired of these environmentalists, as Rush correctly said, these environmentalist wackos that come in and try to tell us that we should cut down everything good in our life for, for the good of the tree, for the good of the caribou. For, I mean, look, I'm all for protecting animals. I'm all for protecting wildlife. I don't want anything to go extinct. 
But I think that there's a greater chance that the tidal wave is going to make them extinct if we don't stop it. There's a greater chance that erosion is going to destroy it if we don't stop it than if we build the wall. That's called common sense. But since clearly a lot of people don't have it, that is also how it ended up being the dumdy of the day. Thank you for tuning in. Please donate at the correct views of Hotmail.com through PayPal.